I want to rent a speedboat for a little while, even though it's expensive. There are two guys on the beach. Manny charges $3 per minute, and Mr. Reasonable charges $30 plus $1 per minute. Now, which of these guys has a better deal for each of the following lengths of ride? So we'll look at rides of 5, 10, 20, and 25 minutes. The model is given. X is the number of minutes. Y is the cost of the ride in dollars. And we have two equations, both of which have the variables defined that way. For Manny, the equation is in the form y equals ax, y equals 3x, with the 3 being the $3 per minute. For Mr. Reasonable, the equation is in the form y equals ax plus b, where the b is the $30 charge, and the a is equal to 1 because he charges $1 per minute on top of the $30 charge. So his equation is y equals x plus 30. Well, what we have to do is we need to plug x equals 5, x equals 10, x equals 20, and x equals 25 into each of these equations. So for Mr. Reasonable, 5 minutes costs $35, and for Manny it costs 15. 10 minutes is $40 with Mr. Reasonable and $30 with Manny. 20 minutes costs $50 with Mr. Reasonable and $60 with Manny. And $25 costs $55 with Mr. Reasonable and $75 with Manny. So plugging the values into the x position in the two equations is routine and repetitive, but it tells us a lot because we can see that for the smaller numbers of minutes, Mr. Reasonable costs quite a bit more than Manny, and Manny gives a better deal. But for the higher numbers of minutes, Mr. Reasonable starts to cost less than Manny, and he gives the better deal. So we've answered the question about which guy has a better deal for each of the following lengths of ride when we say Manny is cheaper for shorter rides and Mr. Reasonable is cheaper for longer rides. But what about this situation where it doesn't matter which guy I choose? If we try plugging in some more values, trial and error, what happens is we try plugging in x equals 15 minutes and we find out that it costs $45 regardless of which of the two guys on the beach you buy the ride from. So they cost the same for a ride of exactly 15 minutes and now I've answered the entire question. This has been today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe and share.